Solana is known for its super cheap fees and extremely fast transactions. But do you know that you can't add this network to your MetaMask wallet? I will explain why this is so and list out some alternative wallets that you can use to store native Solana. The Solana network is built using three different programming languages, which are C, C++, and Rust. Meanwhile, there are networks that are compatible with the Ethereum virtual machine, or EVM for short. This virtual machine is built using Solidity, and this is completely different from the ones that Solana uses. What's more, all EVM compatible networks have exactly the same address, where all of them start with the prefix OX. On the Solana network, it does not seem to have a fixed wallet address format and your address may start with any random number or letter. Both of these points suggest that Solana is not an EVM compatible network. What's more, if you search for Solana on Chainlist, you will not be able to get any results. Chainlist compiles almost all of the EVM compatible networks, which further suggests that Solana is not EVM compatible. Right now, Metamask only allows you to add EVM compatible networks to its wallet. So this means that you won't be able to add the native Solana network to your Metamask wallet. Let's say that you're withdrawing Solana from an exchange like KuCoin and you pay your Metamask deposit address. KuCoin only supports native Solana withdrawals and you will get this invalid withdrawal address format error. So you won't be able to send SOL tokens to this address using the Solana network. If you do the same thing on Binance, you will notice that it only matches the wallet address to the BNB smart chain. It is also not possible for you to use the Solana network to send to your Metamask wallet address. If you use the BNB smart chain to send Solana to your Metamask wallet, you are actually sending the Binance Pack Solana token. This is a red version of the native Solana token that exists on the BNB smart chain and the value of one Binance Pack Solana token is 1 is to 1 with native Solana. Binance has this proof of collateral page for all of its Binance Pack tokens. You can search for Solana here and you will see that there is more native Solana in Binance's wallet than the pack tokens that are in circulation on the BNB smart chain. If you are looking to store SOL on the native Solana network, here are some other wallets that you can consider using. Some of these wallets are specific to the Solana network and this includes Phantom, Solid and Soulflare. These wallets only have one type of address which is used to receive tokens on the native Solana network. If you want to store assets on Solana, as well as other crypto networks, you can consider using a multi-chain wallet that supports both EVM and non-EVM networks. Some examples will include Trust Wallet, Exodus, or Coinbase Wallet. You can go to the Receive tab on any of these wallets and search for the Solana token. Trust Wallet supports multiple versions of SOL, but the native Solana address should appear on the very top of the search result. The wallet address that you copy over should not start with OX, but it can start with any number or letter. If you'd like to learn a bit more about EVM compatibility, my video here explains this concept and why it's so important in the crypto world.